Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image here. Had a lot of people asking me how do I like my green screen. So, so I wanted to show you how I like my green screen because basically what I've done is I've tried uh, before I started doing video for the green screen, I've tried a lot of different ways researching it and whatnot on YouTube and online trying to figure out what the best way is. And there's a lot of videos out there that tell you some stuff that doesn't really work that well. I spent a couple hundred bucks buying the uh, halogen hot lights. Don't like them. I don't think they work great for the green screen. I don't think they make a nice even lighting. And um, they're, they're a lot of money. I found a much cheaper way to do it. And um, so I'm going to show you quickly how that uh, is. Basically what I'm using is two shop lights, fluorescent, like the, uh, I guess they're the, the 36 or the 4 foot shop light. I'll have to check that for you but your standard fluorescent tube shop light. Basically hang them on end so that they are vertical and you put one at either side of your screen, tilt it on an angle back into the screen and it lights it beautifully evenly and um, if you get uh, the c color temperature of your bulbs, if you keep the bulbs cooler then it's going to keep your screen really nice and green and then you can light your subject at another spot um, and, and change the lighting for them but basically for the green screen Let's have a look at, uh, at how this, the setup looks. Okay, here you can see my green screen. This is a actual green screen backdrop. I uh, picked it up from one of the suppliers I like to buy for, uh, from on eBay. It is nice to get an actual green screen backdrop because the green is much better than trying to use a sheet or other things that might not be as close to chroma key green. Now you might not be able to see how well the chroma key green looks in the lighting here because Basically, I'm using the um, I'm using my uh, Canon H HF 200, so I'm not getting I'm doing it on auto, and I'm not uh, color correcting and calibrating for the color. So, but anyways, needless to say, this is a true um, chroma key green screen backdrop. If you look here, you can see it's on a frame that I built out of PVC, and you can see the um, I'll zoom in here. You can see it's just held to the frame using uh, quick clamps and let's see there's another one up there let me go over to the other corner and there's another one come down to the other corner and there's another one so basically I'm just using four I'm gonna zoom out here again unfortunately my wide angle lens isn't quite uh, quite wide enough for you to see this totally but there you go you can see the screen fully on the frame there with in each corner I've got just like, one quick clamp it's, uh, you can still, if, if I turn the lights off, you could see that there is still some wrinkles in the fabric. So it's actually, it's pulled fairly tight, but it's not super tight. It's more important how you light it. That gets rid of your wrinkles. And um, basically, here's uh, one of my shop lights right here. I'll zoom in where it's hanging from the ceiling. You can see there it's hanging on a chain from the ceiling. And I've actually just got a piece of gaffer's tape to hold it on the angle I want. And there is the shop light hanging from the ceiling right there. And... There's the green screen. So I basically, it might be hard to see from the video there, but I've got it on about a 45 degree, maybe not quite a 45 degree. So I've got it on the, out on the towards the edge, so it's parallel to the edge of the green screen. And here's the other one on this side as well, hanging from the ceiling there. I'm going to zoom in on this for you as well. And you can see that one hanging there. So they're hanging vertically by a chain from the ceiling. So I've got one on the left side of my screen here you can see and one on the right side of my screen I'm gonna back up here and see if I can get there you go I'm gonna get back see if I can get back far enough to show you there you can see on the left and on the right the two shop lights hanging there in front of the green screen they're on either side basically on the edge of the green screen they're tilted in on a bit of an angle and what they do is they provide uh, perfectly flat perfectly even illumination so the green screen is evenly lit with no shadows and uh, I'll show you too quickly here you can see in the foreground there is my hair light that I use for when I'm sitting there to have a, um, it's handy to have a light on you from behind to give you that differentiation from the green screen and I've just got it on a, a standard photography light stand there and it's just a, a simple hair light in a um, it's a CFL bulb in a fixture with a diffusion panel on the front. But anyways, there you can see, there's the one on the on the right, and here is the other on the left, and they're just your basic common um, shop lights. These ones actually don't even have any covers on the front. I'm not sure if I can get this. I'm not sure if this is gonna let me, uh, if 
focus on that. So basically there is the green screen in the background folks. In the foreground here you can see a table I normally sit at a lot of times. I like to sit at a table while I'm doing videos. It keeps me from fidgeting while I'm standing up sometimes. And uh, you want to keep some, I don't know if you can see, but there's it's probably compressed in the video here. But you want to keep as much distance as you can between your subject and your green screen. So I've probably got a good six to eight feet between the table and the green screen, even though it may not look like it here in the video. And um, so basically those... Um, those two shop lights uh, light the green screen perfectly. You can pick shop lights up for ten to fifteen dollars at Home Depot. I think I paid twelve bucks a piece. Those were on sale, and the t the shop light fluorescent tubes are about two for five bucks. So uh, you're looking basically at lighting your green screen for you know less than forty dollars, and it works much better than the halogen hot lights. So hope this helps uh, those of you that are trying to uh, figure out your green screen lighting. And uh, that's the way I do it. There you go. Once again, on the right, the one shop light hanging, and on the left, the other shop light hanging, both vertically. Thanks for tuning in, folks. This has been uh, Matt at Art of the Image. Just a quick demo, I guess, tutorial for you to see how I'm doing my green screen lighting. Uh, pretty um, unedited video. I'm not going to play with this much. The lighting's not perfect, but basically, I just wanted to show you how. The, um, how I'm lighting the green screen and give you an idea how to do it yourselves on the cheap.